always loved that shirt. I'm wearing the new jacket you got me. How's Lou? She's sunny and rosy, and you'd almost never know that there was anything wrong with her. Good. That's good. Yes, it is good. It's what we've all been praying for. Our daughter is healthy and thriving again. It should be a joyous moment. Instead, I feel like everything has just fallen apart. I suppose Lucky is still furious. I think he's working on it. Trying to figure out what it all means. Poor kid. Something feels like he's just been drop kicked. Well. I think he was under the assumption that we had the trust thing covered here, the three of us, as a family. And now he finds out he's got an older brother we never bothered to tell him about. Not we, Luke. Me. Yeah, well, whatever. It's the same effect. I know he feels betrayed. I'd like to do something to try to... Sweetheart, I really suggest you don't... assume... how our son feels. Okay. Then why don't you help me out? Why don't you say something? You know, anything would be better than this... detachment. We have a memorial service to get through. Let's just do that. If you're ready, we should go. Without Lucky? No, I'm here. Nice. Um, did you, uh, did you see him yesterday? Is that why you, um, is that why you didn't come home, Mom? Lucky. I spent last night at the hospital with Leslie Lou, just like I have most of the nights during the past month. No, Lucky, I didn't see him. Lucky, I never wanted any of this to hurt you. It does, Mom. I know. I'm very sorry. <sighs> Your father's right. We have a memorial to get to. Saved Lasha. I'm not the man you remember. My brother's death changed my life. It gave me focus. It gave you control. You no longer have to be bullied by Helena. Oh, she never bullied me. There are always ways of getting around her. But you're right, now I don't have to bother. So if you give me access to Nicholas, Helena can't stop it. Am I right? Does this nullify her threats? Why should it? Why... Uh, why are you doing this to me? You contacted me. You arranged for the transplant of your own free will. You involved Nicholas in all of this. And if you didn't mean for him to see me, then... why bring him here to Port Charles? Why would you assume he's here? Oh, stop playing games with me. I know he's here. My son saw him at Lulu's bedside. Is 
that it? Is that... Is it give you some kind of sick pleasure to throw him in my other son's face? I didn't come here to challenge you. I want to see my son. I want to speak to him before the two of you disappear forever. And it is not just for me. It is for Nicholas's sake, too. Look, I know he believes that I abandoned him. But I don't want him to go through life thinking that I didn't love him. I know he must be staying with you. Let me see him. told me that you had come here. How's Audrey? Uh, she's still pretty numb. I figured you'd stop and visit Leslie while you were here. How's Lulu? That's what I came to tell you. It's really good news. They're gonna move her out of ICU in a little while, so I figured you'd want to be there when... She oh. gets her own little room. Oh. oh, that's fabulous. Yes, I do want to be there. Thank you. You know me so well. I thought I did. tell me I had a sister. It just it wasn't relevant. Yeah. Of course. It wasn't relevant. You said I was saving the life of a distant cousin and I believed you. You lied to me. To prevent what's happening now, you should have stayed in Switzerland. The Cassidines don't respond well to orders. You taught me that. You taught me that well. And I trusted that you would always, always tell me the truth. There was no way I could be sure you'd want to help the child of a woman you despise. You could have asked. How did you find out? From you. When I came out of the anesthetic, I heard you say something about a, a debt that couldn't be repaid. And from the tone of your voice, I knew it had to be about my mother. So when I was able to get up, I looked at my file, and there it was. The name of my recipient. Leslie Lou Spencer from Port Charles, New York. Spencer as in Laura. The half of me that you despise. You know that's not true, Nicholas. You were no older than Laura's daughter when she walked away from you to have children by another man. She abandoned you. She tossed you away like yesterday's garbage. Your own father came to his end at the hands of that man. And you think I can just forget that? No good can come of your being here. I'll make arrangements to have you flown back immediately. No! You're defying me. That's right. And for the first time in my life, as much as I love you, you cannot keep me away from my sister. I am still in charge of your life, young man. I am bound to protect you from those people. My sister is not one of those people. Have you seen her? I have. She's beautiful. Innocent. She 
has a smile like sunshine. And I saved her life. Me. And that's a bond that you can never break, Uncle. So don't even try it. You must break that connection. Why? Because you say so? Because... That's how the Spencers work. They kill you by making you care. Remember your father. There's a plane waiting for you at the airport. You're going back to Greece, and you're not to pull another stunt like this. Do you understand? I hear you, Stefan. Take Master Cassidyne to the plane and see that he gets on it. I'll be getting out here. You know that I love you, Nicholas. And like it or not, I know what's best for you. I'll see you at home. We're making a stop at General Hospital. I can't believe that I finally get to hold her again. Yes, I mean, we got a lot of cuddling to make up for. You want to flip to see who gets her first? No, I do. <laughs> okay. Oh, good, you're here. We're all set to move her. First to her own room, and before you know it, she'll be home with you again. Great. 